All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want to keep you late. We know it's a cold evening, so we want to get started um, uh, immediately. Um, as I said, good evening and welcome to our... Can we just turn the music down there? Thank you. Right, good evening and welcome to our Grade 11 information sharing as we launch the new pl platform that we're going to be using to be communicating with you. Um, and then also we have a chance to interact with subject teachers concerning your child's academic progress in the last um, test series. I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Philip Robinson. He's going to take you through the process of the new platform and how you can um, upload and what you can be doing and what you can be achieving and what you can be viewing and observing by the new platform that we are launching. Thank you, Mr. Philip Robinson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good to have you here this evening. So we're just going to be explaining to you a new form of communication that the school is going to be using. Um, this um, app was actually um, supported by the Department of Education and privately subsidized, so it comes at no cost to the school. It's a means of one-way communication, so the, the school can send you communication, but you are not able to communicate back with the school via the app. If you want to contact the school, you need to contact the school directly, and you won't be able to do that through the app. The app is zero rated for MTN and Telcom users, so what that means is if you have a, a contract or something with MTN or Telcom, you can use this app and it does not use data, so it is free data for Telcom and MTN users. Uh, they are currently negotiating with CELC and Vodacom to try and get that done with them as well. Uh, the app is, is pretty user friendly, it's easy to navigate and find what you're looking for. And each of you has been given login details for your child. Um, the, there's a bit of feedback on the speakers that's quite irritating. So, can you hear the feedback? So um, the, the username is, is part of the ID number. The app does comply with the Poppy Act as well, so your information is not being distributed to third parties and shared with everyone so that they can phone you and bug you with all types of nonsense that we're not interested in. So what benefits does it have for us as a school and for you as a parent? Well, as I said before, oh, well, I didn't actually say that, but it comes at no cost to the school. Uh, previously, apps that we've used, uh, we've had to pay a monthly sub or yearly subscription for it, but this app comes totally free to the school. Um, you as a parent, as we've mentioned, MTN and Telcom users, it does not cost you any data, and also it gives you access, immediate access, to your child's information and progress. You can see on this, the, the pages that you've been given that there's a reply slip that needs to be returned to us, please. Um, by, by Monday, please. So please sign those and return those to us by Monday. As you noticed on the board when you were entering, we asked you if you could please download the Mzali app so long. Um, I hope that many of you have managed to do that. And when you open the Mzali app, um, it'll ask you to sign in. Obviously, I can't do this with my phone, so I'll just do it from the laptop. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to search for your school. And you can just type in Westering High School, and there it does pop up. Okay. And then we put in the username that you have been given and the password that you have been provided with. signed in. They have been working on the app and so some people have been able to sign in previously, some have not been able to sign in. If you want to follow this on your phone, you can open Google and you can go to mzali.co.za that'll open a web, the exact web page that I'm on now and you can sign in the same way as you would with the app. First choosing the school, entering the username, and then entering the password. 
So this is uh, the pretty similar to the interface that you're going to see. As you can see here, on the, on the left hand side there's a little red notification and that is for news. So if you click on that, it gives you all the news that the school has posted. And the nice thing about it is the most recent ones are at the top. Previously you had to navigate through all types of folders and look at the bottom and things that was absolutely crazy. So this makes life a lot easier. The stuff that's been pushed um, most recently will be at the top. Also it tells you, it shows you how many new news items have been pushed. You see this one says zero because we've already opened them. Um, it, it, the app also gives you just details of your, your child. If you click on that, it'll give you their name, it'll give you your name, and that's, that should all be correct already. Then if we go to um, subjects, that is the first tab. For some reason, the website does not show subjects, but if you manage to sign in on the app, then it'll list the subjects um, that your child does. Uh, and then as you click on each subject, it'll be able to tell you the marks that they achieved for the various tasks during that time. We will be um, sending our SSM's database through to Mzali from time to time so that they can update those marks and then you can see them as frequently as we can get that information to Mzali. Then we move on to, we don't use the textbooks, so then we can move on to attendance. Here we have attendance. It gives us a summary of total days absent, total days late, total days leaving early, and then also total days of coming late and leaving early. They're all color coordinated, so it's quite easy to identify. This is just uh, one of the, s the students at the school. We have... Um, just put random things here, so this is not a true reflection of this child, just in case you're wondering. So there we can see, it shows you the calendar, and we can see which days the child has been late, when they have left early, when they have been absent, and when they have arrived late and um, left early. And you can see it, you can go back from month to month. So you can basically see the whole year how your child has been attending school. And as far as I know, that has been done for grade 11s. Uh, then we can move on to schoolwork. Um, schoolwork gives us an opportunity, or the intention behind this was to actually to post homework and assignments and that kind of thing. But we're not going to be using uh, the app for that. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using it as a form of communication to keep you updated with regards to your child's working class. So, for example, if they haven't handed in an assignment, if they haven't completed some homework, then we will actually um, put that information in on the schoolwork tab. And here you can see we just entered something random just about homework not being done. Once again, not a true reflection of the child, it was just an example. Okay, and schoolwork, academics, yes, and then the, the last one, the last tab that we have is the EduLink, and these are just links to uh, some of the companies that have obviously paid um, towards the app, and you can, you can browse these and, and see what they have available to you and see if anything is appealing to you. And as far as I know, that is all that I have to cover this evening. I hand you back to Mrs. Smith. Sorry. Oh, do we have any questions? Yes, ma'am. Are, are you using the app? If you're using the app, that isn't a problem that we have been experiencing. Um, I did mention that they've been working on the app. And so if you want to view it now, you can go to mzali.co.za via a browser and sign in that way. And then you should be able to access the information there. Any other questions? Okay, there we go. 
So as you can see, it's a very user-friendly um, application, easy to navigate. There's not too much going on, so you should be able to find everything with ease. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Mr. Robinson. Now, please take note, parents, you can load as many devices as you want to with that logging detail and username. So that means both parents can be using it as well as the student. It keeps the student informed as well as the parents, all right? With absenteeism, you will be informed immediately on a daily basis. So if a, le a learner is absent on a particular day, we will then upload that information and before the end of the day, you would be aware if your learner was at school or not. Likewise, with attendance, with arriving late and with leaving school early. So before they even get home to you, you would know what they've been up to for the day. Okay? So that's an immediate. It's like um, WhatsApp. If you go into the Mzali app, there will be the little red icon. I see the pop-up there, which indicates that there is information for you. Okay? However, uh, um, the same will happen with homework. So if the school says that your child has not done any homework, it will be instant notification for you, like a WhatsApp message. The one thing that won't be instant for you is marks. Now, as Mr. Robinson says, we have to submit our database to Mzali, and they will then upload the latest marks or term reports. So for that one, you might, so we've only currently sent them our term one results, um, they're busy doing maintenance, and I think once they finish with maintenance, they would upload our current um, term one results for you to look at. If a child has not completed a task, then the app will tell you that there were four tasks that were issued, only three of the tasks were completed, and then you can inquire from your child which task is still outstanding or which task is incomplete. So really, it's allowing you to keep progress and to keep an eye on your child and what's happening in, at school on a daily basis, okay? We are recording this evening's um, session, so if you want to, um, I know there are lots of parents that are not here this evening because of Ramadan, you can go and view, we'll send you the link to the YouTube video that you can then see, um, and then go through all the different tabs on your phone. How many of you have been able to access it right now sitting here? Can you just indicate by a show of hands? Okay, there's a number of you. Those of you, as I said, they are um, busy maintaining the website. So if you aren't able, at the end of the evening, there are a few of us around that you can then access it via the website. All right? Then I must also say to you that some parents were fearful last night of the fact that the information that we have, because we have got lots of sens sensitive information, the information is owned by the EMIS office that's linked to the Department of Basic Education. So you don't have to be fearful that the information is going to be used by a third party, as Mr. Robinson told you. The tier of slip that you have on the, now remember, you've got the login details and you've got the username. We also emailed that to you because we knew that some pe parents would not be here this evening. However, we are going to be issuing a hard copy to you, learners who aren't here this evening, tomorrow morning again. The reply slip, is an indication from you to tell us that you are now on Mzali and that that's going to be the communication system that we are going to be using. We are not going to do away with our current communication system until we are happy that the communication system Mzali works well for us. But then we will go over to Mzali and your indication, your tier, assigning the, the tier of slip indicates to us that you are using Mzali and that we can communicate using that platform. Okay, um, I suppose some of you would, oh yes, the information that you are currently getting will only be for your child. You cannot log into another child's information. If you have two or three learners at the school, you will have a different login for each of those kids. Okay, so you aren't able to log on to anyone else's information. Your information does remain private at this stage. And I think we've about covered all that we needed to do this evening. As, it, as Mr. Robinson said, it's free, it doesn't cost us at the school anything, and if you are with Telcom uh, or with MTN, you are able to then zero rate it as well. So we find that to be a benefit for both parents. 
it's a one-way communication. I want to um, emphasize again that you cannot speak to us via Mzali. If we send you information, you have to contact the office via telephone call or an email. All right, you can imagine if we sent out a newsletter and a thousand of you tried to reach us, we don't have the man manpower to be able to answer you. But if you send an email, we would be able to get back to you. All right. So I think um, during the course of the evening, if you're still battling, please speak to one of us. Mr. Robinson will be available. I'll be available. Mr. Radman will be available. And then some of the learners that signed you in this evening, they would also be available to assist you with downloading the app. The second thing that we are here for this evening is also for intervention um, for Term 1 reports. Now, the latest news that we did send on the app today is an intervention timetable. We realize that learners are battling and that we need to assist. And so this evening we are encouraging any learner who has a level one or level two in a subject. Next week we have a compulsory or we have intervention from Monday through to Friday. It's on your app. We will be handing our hard copy to learners. We also did send you an email with it today to tell you which subjects which take place on which particular days so that learners can benefit from it. We're encouraging all learners with level one and level two, that is not up to 40%, to attend these extra lessons in the afternoon. Sport will only start at three o'clock. It gives you a chance from 20 past two until three o'clock for the learners to be engaged in some type of intervention. Okay, um, then we also, at this stage, grade 11s, We've now come to the end of our subject changes. We bent over backwards to try and give you the best advice or guidance that we possibly can. However, at this stage, we still had a few learners who were not successful in the March test series. We have asked parents, we've given a special invitation to, to those parents to come and see us so that we can look at a way at how we can possibly still get your child to be successful for this year and for next year. So at the end of this session, um, the parents who are here who have an invitation, if you can meet Mr. Radman, Mr. Radman's at the back of the hall there, he will take you to F3, that's the classroom, uh, the learners will show you is right outside the hall. So those who have a special invitation, and I want to appeal to parents, at the end of the year, when a learner fails, parents and learners are very disappointed. And they use all kinds of tactics to cry, try to get us to change our result. We don't have the ability to change the result. It is changed, the Department of Education prescribes to us what a pass or a fail is. And parents go to extreme lengths to try to get their children to pass. This is our first intervention with you. We've called you to a meeting. Don't duck and dive, go to where we are asking you to go to so that we can intervene and we can try and put the child on a road to success. We have also have a representative this evening in the hall from every subject or every learning area. So if you want to speak to anyone, all these people are available to speak to you. It might not be your subject teacher, but it is the subject planner, and the planner knows exactly what's going on in the grade and all the components that the March series was made up of. So we encourage you to utilize and to speak to um, the teachers here this evening. Okay, and then those who need to go and speak to Mr. Radman, we've got a special um, bit of information that we'd like to share with you this evening. Okay, if there are any questions then during the course of the evening um, that you haven't thought about, um, we will be around to answer any of those questions. Okay, so I'm going to ask those people who had special invitations, you can go to Mr. Radman, is in F3 just outside, um, the hall, and the rest of the parents, you are free to interact with staff members right now. Thank you for coming this evening. We do appreciate your presence here this evening. Thank you.